Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com coming at you with another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at M-Tracker 3D and we're going to be utilizing another great plugin from MotionVFX called M-Title Height. So in this tutorial, we are going to show you how to 3D track a scene and then use other elements such as M title hype in M tracker 3D. So you can see here, we have our clip loaded into our timeline where my good friend Jake comes in uh, over a local skate park, does an awesome ollie, that's the name of the trick here, over this piece of the ramp. And what I'd like to do is track our title right here on this flat section. So our first step is to go to M-Tracker 3D in our effects, grab M-Tracker 3D and apply it to our clip we want to track. You'll see here that you have a track button on your screen, as well as a track button in our inspector. Both do the same thing, one button to track your footage. Okay, now that we are done tracking, we will want to copy our track data. So click copy track in your inspector. Now let's go over to M-Tracker 3D. And in this tutorial, we are going to use the drop zone basic. So let's pick up our drop zone basic title, drag it into our timeline. Let's make sure that we drag that all the way out to meet the duration of our clip. So you can see here, no tracking data is available. We've already copied it from our effect. So let's go into paste track in our inspector. You can see here done, tracking data has saved successfully. So click okay. Next, I'm going to go to my target icon, select it, and you can see that we have a 3D gizmo that we can place our item in 3D space. I know that I want that 3D item to be right here so that Jake does a trick over our drop zone. So now that we've got our drop zone placed in our scene here, we'll go into M title hype and we can apply that pre-animated title into our drop zone. So this is really, really good because this means any titles that you purchase that do not come in the M tracker 3D titles package, you are still able to apply those into drop zones and they work really, really well. So I think I like this one, so why don't we try this? Let's go ahead and bring this down from our title. So we're gonna be using M title height number 19. You can see it right here. And we do want to make sure that that duration matches our clip. So that's our animation there, and we are going to apply that into our drop zone. So this is a very important note if you ever have any sort of video or animated text that you're going to apply into a drop zone, you will need that title or video to be a compound clip to hold that animation. So why don't we go into our title and we're going to click option G to create a compound clip. Now we'll go into M Tracker 3D basic drop zone. Let's scroll down to our drop zone source and we are going to select the beginning of our compound clip. Click apply. And you can now see that we have our title perfectly tracked. We can go ahead and disable our compound clip on top by pressing V. And there it is, you can see that is available. Now let's just do some minor tweaking so we can get the exact look that we're going for. Let's go in our inspector. I wanna scale that up quite a bit. Now I'll go into my contents position Y parameter and we're gonna bring that down. All right, now I'd like to rotate this text just a bit. Let's go over to our X position, bring it over to the left. Let's see how that looks. I really like the way this looks, so I'm going to create a final compound clip and add M film look to get our finalized look. 
Again, thank you for watching. This is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com showing you how to quickly and simply add the M Tracker 3D drop zone so that you can apply pre animated titles. Using our brand new M Title Hype, M Title Hype is now available from MotionVFX.com as well as M Tracker 3D and M Film Look. All right, have a good day.